Hello and welcome to a brand new series on my channel where I'm going to take you through my full training week. Today's episode is training day one. I'm going to be taking you through my push session. So I run my training weeks from Sunday to Saturday. I know it's a little bit strange, but I start my training week on a Sunday. Why are you gay? So just before we get into the push session, I'll just tell you a little bit about my training week as it is episode one. So I follow a push pull legs upper lower split. A lot of times people will follow either push pull legs or upper lower or full body and I only take one training split and follow it to the T. However, I've decided to incorporate two different splits to suit me and I recommend you do the same. My problem was with push pull legs that I only like to train five days a week and this means that I can have two rest days. Before I was doing push pull legs, push pull legs and then having a rest at the end. But I found by about day four, I was feeling really lethargic and tired and it just didn't work out for me. And for this reason, I decided to add another rest day into my routine. So now I have a rest day on a Wednesday and on a Saturday. So without further ado, I don't want to spend too long on the introduction. Let's get into the push session. So I feel like it's first important to mention, as you can see on your screen right now, that I do like to do a couple of warm up sets before each of my exercises. Just try to slow down the eccentric portion of the movement and just pause for a second on the chest so I can really feel the contraction. I'll typically do one to three warm up sets per exercise and it all depends on how much weight I'm working up to. And now as you can see on the screen, I go into my working sets. On this push day, I do both bench press and overhead press. And on the bench press, I do three by three doing heavy sets. And on the overhead press on this day, I do five sets of five, which we'll come on to in a moment. We're going at about 80% of our one rep max and each week we're trying to add on 2.5 kilograms to the bar. So for the second exercise, as I previously mentioned, we go on to an overhead press. Here we're doing five sets of five. We're trying to push out some extra reps. We're trying to keep the form as strict as we possibly can. Again, with overhead press, it's more of a powerlifting type of movement and we're gonna to aim to progress that by 2.5 kg or two 1.25 kilogram plates on each side of the bar each week. Okay, and next we move into our third pressing movement of the day, the incline dumbbell press. So for this exercise, we do four sets of six to eight reps. So what I aim to do on the incline dumbbell press is pick a weight which I can do for six reps, and then a week after I'll progress that up to the eight rep mark, and then I'll go up in weight again and drop the reps down to six. Okay, so moving on to exercise four, and this is where we're going to be finishing off the chest. I tend to put a lot of focus on this push day onto my chest, but this is the high to low cable fly, and I've sworn by this exercise for a long time. It's an excellent exercise at targeting the pecs. I find it gives a great stretch as well as a good squeeze at the top as well. And by using cables, you make sure that you've got resistance throughout the whole of the movement. And for this exercise, we're going for three sets of 10 to 12. The same rules apply. We're gonna try and pick a weight which we could do for 10 reps one week, then progress that to 12 reps on the same weight the next week, and then move up in weight after that, and so on. Always trying to achieve progressive overload. Okay, I'm moving on to the last shoulder exercise now before we finish off on some triceps. This is a movement that I've not done much, but honestly, it's one of the best movements I've ever done for my shoulders. This is a dumbbell Y raise. So the name of the exercise really speaks for itself. We're gonna be raising the dumbbells up in the shape of a Y, and this is gonna target both your front and side delts. Okay, so moving on to the triceps, we probably have the movement that I like the least, but I just can't do without it. This is a barbell skull crusher. You're gonna be lowering the bar down to your head and then pushing it back up with your triceps. I find that allowing the barbell to go a little bit more behind your head allows you to get a better range of motion. And that's just something that I found through trial and error. It's definitely worth a try if you don't really feel your skull crushes very well. For this exercise, we're gonna be doing three sets of eight to 10. And this is more of a strength focus exercise for your triceps. The next one we do is gonna focus a little bit more on the hypertrophy. Again, same rules apply. We're looking to achieve progressive overload. Okay, and the final exercise we're gonna do on this push day is for your triceps and it's going to be the cable push down. This is such a great exercise for targeting the long head of your tricep. And I use it in all of my push routines, whether it's for this specific training block or training blocks that I've done in the past. The cable push down, either with a bar or a rope, always finds its way into my push sessions. Okay, and that is the push session. I found great success with this push session so far. My numbers have been progressing really well. 
And I'd highly recommend at least just trying out this routine to see if it works for you. And that's definitely a big thing with training routines. They're very specific to you. Some movements are gonna feel better for you. Some movements are not gonna feel as good. You may be able to execute some movements better than others, which will make them better for you personally. But if you did enjoy this video and you're looking forward to see the next one where I'll be bringing you my pool day routine, which I do on a Monday, which is gonna include deadlifts. So be prepared for that. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that. I upload every Wednesday at 6 p.m. so you'll be able to see the video then. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll see you in episode two of my training week.